Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this here is my Right Stuff birthday haul sale. It finally came in yesterday, and as you can see, I did rip it open. It just felt kind of like light when I left the box yesterday, and I was a little worried. But I did open it, and everything in here that I ordered is indeed in here, so I'm very relieved. So further ado, let's get started and let's see what I bought. This is my first time buying from Right Stuff, so I didn't know like what to expect at all. So it's a little like hesitant and worry, but it actually went pretty smoothly. Okay. So to start off, we'll do this. So I got volumes. Volume 4 of Tsukiyomi Moon Phase. So I used to watch the anime a long time ago, and I love Moon Phase. It's super cute. It's about a young vampire girl that has powers, and she's kind of like locked into like a castle in Kohei. The guy right here is a photographer, and he doesn't see spirits and ghosts. But he could see her, even though she's like a monster in a way. But he could see her. And they form like a friendship. It's super cute. I love it. And I do have volume one of this in my manga collection. And I wanted to like finish collecting the rest. These here were actually $1 for the sale, which was pretty cool. So I just had to get all of it. I mean, you can't be $1 manga. But unfortunately, like, I think it was like volumes two and I think, was it seven? I believe, yeah, it was volume two and seven. They were like out of stock, unfortunately. So I might have to try to find them like somewhere online to see if I could find it. I might have to pay overpriced because this manga is discontinued this is like very old because if you see it's from tokyo pop so this is very old manga but either way i'm just happy this is my collection super cute so if you want to give this a shot um it might be hard just because this is just indeed old school manga and you can't really find it in your local barnes and noble maybe if you go to like Half Price Brooks, they always end up having like old manga, so that's always a possibility. But yes, these are my volumes for Moon Phase, and I will have them all together as well. See how old his manga is. But yes, here's volumes 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12 of Tsukiyomi Moon Phase. Volume 1 of Chainsaw Man. So this manga here is the one that took a long time for my right stuff package to come in because this was out of stock, but my husband really wanted it, so took a while to get this in. Really good. I heard it's like very violent. You know, for a shouldn't jump, of course it is. This is volume four of Kimmy Kiss. So this is like kind of like a shoujo but each of these volumes, the main guy is with each girl, but it's kind of like an like alternate universe of who he could end up with, of the life he could have with each one of the girls. And this is again, another like Tokyo Pop, very old school, got these for a dollar. I do have volume one in my collection. So I wanted to make sure I at least got the rest of the volumes they had love in the right st stuff haul on the website. Yeah, it was like one dollar, so that's pretty cool. Good deal. So the last one I am missing in my collection is volume three. That unfortunately was out of stock. Volume eleven of Blackbird. So I already have the volumes one through ten in my collection, and I really want to continue reading Blackbird. So many. Oh, they're falling out. Let me see. One, two. Oops. 
So volume two and three of Sweat and Soap. So these were actually a really good deal to get. They were like, oh my gosh, like $8, I believe. Yeah, because originally it's like $12.99 with tax. So like, I'm like, that's a really like a good steal to get for these, especially for Kadosha comic manga. Like they're so pricey oh, and it sucks, but I really wanted to continue the story of Sweat and Soap. So I'm happy to continue reading. He's falling. And I finally got the volume one of Watakakoi Love is Hard for Otaku, volume one. I've been pushing this one off for a long time now, and I've been hearing a lot of good things about it, and it looks really cute. So I'm glad to finally get volume one and start reading. Volume two. In three, a perfect world. Oh, I'm so happy I have these. I'm really loving the story. I finished volume one just a while ago and I've been wanting to continue binge reading the series. So I'm happy to continue. If you haven't heard of this, I recommend checking this out. Like it's such a sweet love story. Volume one of Blue Period. Now this one, it took me a long time to get my hands on this volume, just because like, I remember when I looked, volume one was like sold out. It's kind of like an art manga, and I do like stories that involve like a main character loving art or becoming like a mangaka or a painter. So I don't know like too much about this, but I've been hearing a lot of hype about it. And I'm really curious of reading it myself. Volume 3 of Living Room Masunaga-san. I have not read Volume 1 or 2 yet. I own them currently now, but I kind of want to, like, binge this. Because I've been told by a lot of, like, fellow manga tubers that this is, like, one of the ones to binge. So I might have to go collect more volumes of this real soon. But it's just... Style is so cute. So I can't wait to dive into that. Tokyo Mew Mew Onubis 1. So this has volumes 1 and 2. I had the old Tokyo Mew Mew manga, which was like the singular manga, Tokyo Pop, but I unfortunately got rid of those a long time ago, and I'm very upset that I did that. And I've been wanting it back in my collection again, and I really want to reread the story. If you don't know Tokyo Mimi, you guys are <laughs> missing out. So I'm really excited to get back into it. And volume 15 and 17 of One Punch Man. very happy to get these i love one punch man and i can't wait till season three comes out so i really want to get caught up these volume one of love and heart now this one i really do not know too much about i just saw the art and then the description of it it very captivated me a little bit and I'm like this looks really interesting and again it's more like a young adult kind of setting which you guys know I like young adult settings more than high school stuff so I know it's like a bit of like romance and horror I believe I'm not too sure about it I haven't heard no one really talk about it so I'm a little nervous just because you know, this is Yen Press, and Yen Press manga is very pricey, so I'm hoping I'll end up enjoying it, but I'll probably do, like, a manga review on this. Oh. Volume 16 of Missions of Love. I love Missions of Love. This is probably, like, one of my most favorite shoujo's manga I own in my collection. I own 1 through 15 currently. And I need the rest of the volumes, which I believe is up to, I want to say 20. I may be wrong, 
but this series is complete. But this took many, many years to like fully complete, and I love it. And she's like a famous novelist writer. Like she kind of like writes like it seems like fan fiction, but it's not really fan fiction because it's kind of like her own OC story. And it's very popular. Everybody loves it. And it's about like a romance story. And she has never had a boyfriend before. So she's just, you know, making up her own romance as she goes along. And she eventually ends up talking to this boy. He's like one of the popular boys in school. And then they end up by forming like a contract where they kind of pretend they're boyfriend and girlfriend for a while. So she could experience the love and romance so she could add it to her novel. And then she ended up also having a contract with her best guy friend as well. He's not on the front cover. This is a completely different guy. But this is like in the beginning of the series. But I totally recommend it if you just like love triangles, a little bit of romance, and a little bit of drama as well. So I can't wait to continue the series and see how it concludes. This is my last volume. Volume 5 of Everyone's Getting Married. And this is my Rice of Manga haul. I'll see you next time. Bye!